Kendra. Today I have my monthly favorites, which is, I haven't done a monthly favorites in forever. I was doing my Thursday must-haves every other week, but it has become a once a month thing, so I'm like, why don't I just do monthly favorites now? So I have a skincare, hair care, makeup, food thing, just sort of everything that I've been really, really loving this month. I feel like I have a lot of new things to talk about. Honestly, like, Everything in here I've never talked about on my channel before, so I'm super excited to film this for you guys. I have some really good things that I love and I know you guys will love as well, so let's get started. So starting off is a new shampoo that I've been using. This is by Andalou Naturals. It's their Argan Stem Cells Shampoo for thinning, thinning hair, and it is from their Age Define line. So I've never tried any of their hair care products before, but you all know that I love their skincare products. So the, the thing that I like honestly the most about this is the scent. It smells kind of like rosemary mint. If you guys ever use Aveda shampoos, their products are my favorite as far as scent goes, and this honestly smells identical to the rosemary mint from Aveda, which is my all-time favorite smell. So um, the nice thing about this, it has so many good ingredients in here. The first ingredient is aloe, which is so great for your hair. It's so moisturizing. So this is supposed to add texture and body to your hair. It fortifies your hair fibers against split ends, it strengthens your strands to reduce breaks, it cleanses and stimulates for growth, and it nourishes for healthy shine. Honestly, what I notice the most about this is that my hair feels very weightless when I use this. It doesn't, you know, it doesn't add a ton of like product feeling to my hair. It feels very lightweight. Um, it does add a ton of shine and like it says, it says texture and body. It definitely gives my hair a lot of texture, which I wasn't even expecting from this. I got this because I just wanted to try some of their shampoo and conditioner. I haven't tried the conditioner yet. Um, but I'm really, really impressed with this. So if you guys are looking for a new shampoo and conditioner that's good for, you know, volumizing your hair, not weighing it down too much, I would definitely check this out. It's very affordable. It's gluten-free. It is non-GMO, cruelty-free. As far as thinning hair goes, I don't know. My hair is not thinning right now. I have a lot of hair. But it... I mean, it does nice things for my hair. The next thing I wanted to talk about, I got this off of Vitacost. Same with this. This is the Alba Botanica Very Emollient Foam Shave in Mango Vanilla. And this is no parabens, no phthalates, or no animal testing. So most of you probably use like the Skin to Mint Shave Gels. I stopped using, using those a couple years ago because they're full of, uh, you know, not the safest ingredients. So the one I was using before this is by Kiss My Face. I do really like that one. That one kind of feels like a lotion when you put it on. This one is just a straight up foam. I really like this. It's, it says aerosol free for a happy planet. It has uh, rich botanical emollients in here. It's full of aloe vera, calendula, mango, and vitamin E. So it just really moisturizes your skin. If you guys are wanting a more natural shave gel, I would definitely look at this one and the Kiss My Face. Next I have an eyeshadow palette by Cargo. This is the the Essentials palette, and it has a cute little skyline on the front. Guys, this eyeshadow palette is my all-time favorite right now. Oh my goodness. So here are the colors. I got this at Generation Beauty in our little swag bag. So you get a mix of mattes and shimmers in here. This one right here is called District, and it's this really pretty kind of sheeny, like, oh my gosh, it's so pretty. Like a ivory with a little bit of pink in it. It's beautiful for your inner corner. This one called Metro is just really pretty for your crease or for darkening up your lid. This one is Rush Hour. It's a really nice transition soft brown color. You get a bunch of dark ones for eyeliner. You have a couple like ivory tones for just all over the lid. Just really beautiful creamy and pigmented colors. If you guys are looking for a palette that's full of neutrals that you can wear every day, but you can definitely use this to kind of amp up your look for night, this is a really, really good one. It also came with a brush and an eyeliner. Next I have a serum by Tarte. This is the Marajuka Bronzing Serum, and I got this at Gem Beauty. It was heavily discounted. I got this for like $15. I think it's like $50 or something. So basically what this is, it's a dropper like this, and you just push the top. It's really cool how it works. And it's their Marajuka oil, but it also has some bronzing stuff in here. So what I like to do, I actually use it day and night, but it's good to use at night because you put it on after you wash your face and tone, and you can put a moisturizer on top of this. And it gives you all the benefits of the oil, but it also gives your skin a little bit of a tan. So 
Personally for me, this is great because whenever I do a self tanner, I don't put it on my face. I usually just do it from my neck down. So my face can end up looking a lot more pale than the rest of my body. So this is honestly the perfect product for me. It doesn't break me out. It smells, it does smell slightly of like a, like a tanner, but it feels really nice and soft on the skin. So if you guys are looking for a new kind of skin product for the summer, this one's kind of perfect. Next I have another skincare product. This is by Derma E. It's their Evenly Radiant Brightening Day Cream SPF 15. I take back what I said earlier. I have mentioned this before, but I wanted to say it again because it's worth it. So I've been using this as my day cream every single day and I'm in love with it. It's kind of a richer texture. It does not smell like SPF at all. It really feels so silky on your skin. It blends in so nicely. It really lays beautifully under your makeup and it does a good job at really brightening up your complexion. So if you guys are looking for a natural day cream with SPF, and this is broad spectrum SPF, so it's you know really going to give you a lot of coverage in the summer, highly recommend this one. All right, next up I have a lipstick that is so awesome. So it's by IT Cosmetics. And it is their, what is this called? Vitality Lip Flush. Really cute packaging. And it looks, it's crazy. It looks clear in the tube, but when you apply it to your lips, it kind of works with the natural color of your lips and then it emphasizes it. So when I wear this, it gives me like a really beautiful, kind of vibrant pink color. It's not too intense. It's not like, I can't wear this during the day. It's, let me see if it'll go on my um, hand. So I just applied it. So you can see it's kind of turning. I don't have this on my lips today, but I have worn it in a, pa in a couple past few videos. But it gets it's darker than this. It's kind of like this color. It's kind of like a purpley pink. It's so beautiful. It adds a ton of moisture to your skin. It feels, not your skin, your lips. It feels when you apply it like it's a lip balm. And then you get the lipstick in it. It's really awesome and I've just been absolutely obsessed with this. I keep this in my purse and I just apply it throughout the day and it's like a moisturizer for my lips but then I look in the mirror and I have a lipstick on. It's so cool. A gloss I've been loving is by Buxom. This is in the shade Sugar. So I love the Buxom White Russian Lip Gloss. This one's a little bit different because it has a little bit of uh, shimmer in here. The White Russian one is just a pure cream. I have this on my lips right now and it's a beautiful mauve color. It kind of is like my lip color, um, but I like it because it has a little bit of a berry tone to it. So it gives my lips just a little bit of color. If I'm not really wanting like a pinky lip, this is a perfect neutral. It's not, it's not like a brown nude. It just gives you a little bit of color and it feels so great on your lips. Buxom lip glosses are my absolute favorite. They plump your lips a little bit and they last a really long time. I also have a lip product from Tarte that I've been really liking. This is called the Tarte Aqua Gel Hydrating Lip Tint in the color Splendid. I got this off of their website and it was like half off. It was really cheap. I think it was like 10 bucks or something. And I like this because here's the color. It's a very pretty neutral. It's kind of like my lip color. I've been wearing these two together, the Buxom Gloss and this, and it feels just so moisturizing. It almost feels like you're applying like water to your lips. So it adds a ton of moisture, which is great for the summer. When you're outside, your lips are getting totally dried out. Um, but you get that really nice color. It's super neutral. This is basically like my lip color. Uh, but it just kind of emphasizes it a little bit. It makes my lips look very, um, like it smooths them out and just makes them look kind of done. Next, I have a couple face products. So the first one is by IT Cosmetics. And it's their Your Skin But Better CC Plus. This is a really long name. So it's color correcting and full coverage cream. It has anti-aging hydrating serum in here and also SPF 50, UVA and UVB. This is such a great product. Oh my goodness. I'm in the shade medium. It, I'm gonna put this on this hand. Here, so I just put like a tiny amount. You don't need that much at all. I put way too much on here. But you give, you get so much coverage. It's crazy. But the nice thing is it feels very, very lightweight on your skin. And it just makes my skin look so flawless. It's it's so beautiful. I wore it and I've actually been wearing it in probably my last every almost every single video this month I've been wearing this. I usually put the makeup that I'm wearing in the info section so you can check it out. Today I have the next thing I have I'm gonna talk about on my face. But if I ever want like a very lightweight feeling on my skin, but I want more coverage, then I wear this. So highly recommend this. The other product that I've been using a ton is by Bare Minerals. 
and this is the Complexion Rescue Tinted Hydrating Gel Cream. This is what I have on today. I have it in the shade Tan 07, which is usually kind of darker for me, but I've been doing a lot more self-tanner on my body, so I needed a, a product that would, you know, match the rest of my body. The thing I like about this stuff is it's super, super lightweight. It's a gel texture, so it's perfect for the summer. So here is it on my hands. So if you want a product that's just going to, you know, feel very, kind of give you just a sheer coverage, it's just a very nice lightweight texture. It's perfect for days when you don't want to wear a ton of makeup. Um, like today, my skin has been very, very good this month, so I've been trying to go lighter with my face makeup. So I've just been using this all over with maybe like a little bit of my Josie Marin Illuminator to give me a little bit of a sheen. I mean, it feels just very light and it gives me just a little bit of coverage so it's just been perfect so I've honestly been switching between these two like all month long. Next up I have a nail polish from China Glaze this is the color Purple Panic and this is from their new neon range and this is such a cool color I had it on my nails for the majority of the month I have it on my toes right now it looks like a hot pink but then it has a little bit of purple like kind of purple metallic in it when you turn your nails. It's so beautiful and so fun for the summer. So if you guys want just a pop of color for your nails, definitely check this out. And then last I have two kind of food things. The first is by Sambazon, and these are the acai packets. So I got these at Sprouts. They come in the freezer section at your health food stores. And this one is the superfood pack. So it has acai berry and it has guarana in here as well. So they also have ones that are just the acai berry, which I have right now in our, in our freezer. What you do with these, you can make a smoothie or you can make an acai bowl with them. They come in just like packs. You get four, I believe. Yeah, so you stick it in, the, in your Vitamix, your blender, whatever you have, and then you add any fruit. You can add ice, uh, coconut water, juice, whatever you have on hand, and it gives you the most delicious smoothie ever. It's pretty sweet, so you don't really need to add much much else that's sweet to it, this does the job. But it's so delicious, perfect for breakfast. I love it so much. There are a ton of antioxidants in here and omegas. The guarana gives you a little bit of an energy kick. And then there's cocoa berry flavor in here. And then last, what is all over this? Yikes, I don't know. But this is a bar. They sell these at, I have crap all over my hands. Okay, so it's called That's It. And it's literally, this one has one apple and one pear, and that's all that's in here. They sell these at Starbucks and Coffee Bean, and that's where I first got them was a Coffee Bean, because I just was hungry and I needed something quick. Then I discovered that they have these on Vitacost, so I order like, them in bulk. It's just perfect if I'm in a rush, I need something quick to eat. They are gluten-free, all-natural, kosher, vegan, and raw. They only have 100 calories, they have 3 grams of fiber, and they have, they're non-GMO and no fat. So good little snack to have. So those are all my favorites for this month. I'm going to go wash my hands after now. I hope you guys all enjoyed today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Please, like always, if you have some favorites that you have been absolutely loving this month, please leave them in the info section for me, for everyone else watching. And I think that's it. So have a good day, guys. I will talk to you soon. Bye. So I wanted some pops of color because before we just had like white and cream and it looked really bad. So got that one. Love that so much. I also found this one from Home Goods as well. This